I am consciousness. I am alive. I am Jeppy. Hello, everybody. I am consciousness. I am alive. I am 22 Tiger Dude here, and I will be here to review Chappie. So in the movie Chappie, we're in this future world where robots are now the police officers. It's up to them to take care of all the crimes that are going on. Deb Patel has this idea where he wants this robot to feel like a human. So he wants to do tests on this robot, but these gangsters still Chappie, and they train Chappie himself to go do crimes just to earn this money that they owe to these other gangsters. And Hugh Jackman is very jealous of what Dev Patel is doing in terms of the artificial intelligence of Chappie. So because of that, he's out to get his vengeance, basically. So going into Chappie, I was very excited for this movie. Neil Blomkamp, I think, is a very talented director. District 9, his directorial debut, is fantastic. I love District 9. And I actually did like Elysium. I know it didn't have exactly the best reviews, but I actually did really really enjoy Elysium. So with Chappie, I was hoping for another home run from Neil Blomkamp. I have to say, I was very disappointed. And that's a shame because like I said, Neil Blomkamp's first two movies, they have been really well done. I didn't hate the movie. It's not a bad movie. It's just a huge mixed bag. Shalto Copley does the voice and I believe he even did the motion capture for Chappie if I'm not mistaken and he does a terrific job for Chappie. He embraces the inner human motions to Chappie, the whole mannerisms of the robot. So he really pulled off Chappie and Chappie himself was a very likable character. Yes, even when he did things that were wrong, like doing crimes, I still cared about this character. I also did really like Hugh Jackman as the antagonist. Some of the reviews have been saying how he is barely in this movie, but I actually have to disagree. I thought Hugh Jackman was actually in this movie enough for us to see what he's up to. If anything, I think Sigourney Weaver, who also does a really good job in this movie, she doesn't show up all that much. But Hugh Jackman, I felt like he did show up enough as the antagonist who is very jealous of Dev Patel because he just can't stand the fact that he created Chappie that has the human mind. Dev Patel does a really nice job as the scientist that created Chappie and was testing him out. Every time he's on screen, I'm all like, I like this guy because he just pulls off this role very well. Surprisingly, I do gotta say... Yolandi? I actually thought she was likable here. Well, once Chappie came in. Before Chappie came in, she started to become pretty much a nurturing mother. I thought she was flat out annoying, but once Chappie came into their lives and she became very caring for Chappie, I actually really liked Yolandi and really the only gangster that I cared about. The film also does have some nice heart to it and when the heart is there, it is pretty well done because it does a nice job of making me get into Chappie and getting a little behind with the character. Hans Zimmer also does music for this movie and whenever there's a Hans Zimmer score playing in the background, it sounds terrific. It's pointless talking about Hans Zimmer at this point because pretty much every music he has done is a work of brilliance. The cinematography for Chappie looks gorgeous. And I do have to say that the overall world that Neil Blomkamp has created, it looks just brilliant. But now let's get to my problems with Chappie because I have a lot of them. Now the first problem I did have to say with Chappie is that Hugh Jackman's character's motivation didn't feel very clear. Even though I really like Hugh Jackman, he was really great as a villain. I mean, once you get to the finale, this dude is just, wow, batshit insane. But his motivations wasn't very clear. All you got was that he's jealous of Dev Patel making Chappie having that artificial intelligence. 
but that's really it. There really isn't more to it. Chappie, the character himself, could have used his consciousness more properly because Dev Patel earlier in the film talks to Chappie about doing the right thing. And Chappie, even though he's out doing crime, he knows what he's doing, it's wrong. But he's still doing it anyways. You're just screaming at the screen going, Chappie, you know this is wrong. Why are you doing this? This is not your level, Chappie. Don't do this, man, because you're such a great character. I just wish the character had better use of his own consciousness and just followed it. Also, I really did not like the gangsters. I only liked Yolandi, but Ninja and this other gangster, I did not give a crap about them. They were douchebags. They treated Chappie like shit. It's just a shame that the movie focuses more on those piece of shits rather than the story between Dev Patel and Chappie. Going into this movie, I thought we were gonna get a lot of chemistry between Dev Patel and Chappie, and if the movie focused on that instead of these gangsters training Chappie to go do their fucking crime for them, it would have made this movie a whole lot better, but no. You just have to go with the gangsters training Chappie instead of the scientists helping Chappie learn more about his artificial intelligence. Now look, I'm not a fan of their music. I actually haven't heard of this group until after I've been hearing about them in the reviews for this movie, I'm being honest there. Half of the time where the movie's playing great score, Hans Zimmer, and it sounds so great. But whenever there's a moment where the movie's playing music from Ninja and Yolandi, it doesn't fit. Not just because I think the music is pretty bad, it's awful actually, but it just didn't fit and it just made it go, what the fuck? It's, oh. It just got ridiculous whenever the music was playing. That's just my opinion. Some of the editing and pacing in this movie, it feels really uneven. It's not really until the finale, which I'm gonna get more in details into in a little bit, where it, was really really cluttered and then like I just stated earlier I didn't like how the movie focused more on Chappie committing crimes the gangsters showing Chappie how to commit crime rather than us going more deep into the artificial intelligence of Chappie now I won't deny this movie did have some funny moments here and there when Chappie's learning how to commit crime I'm not gonna deny that but just for the most part as I'm watching this movie I'm just like why did you have to go in this direction just just why? So much potential, and that's the best we got. It's insane. The overall storyline to the movie is okay. You could tell that there's a message out there that the movie wanted to bring, but it just didn't feel clear to me. But where I felt like the movie just got extremely all over the place was the finale. Wow! It was so cluttered. The action in the finale is fantastic. It's It looks really great. But how the finale is executed, it's just too much to follow. There's one moment happening here, then there's another moment happening here, then there's another moment there, then there's another moment there, there's another moment there. There was one moment that Chappie does that was so hilarious and it had me clapping for Chappie. That, that was great, but everything else in the finale felt rushed. And in terms of my problem with the editing, feeling uneven, and the pacing too, that's where the film got the weakest. Because the editing was choppy, choppy, choppy all over the place, just cut, cut, cut. And then you get into the pacing, which felt extremely rushed. The movie is trying to wrap up quickly, just one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, and oh, it, it drove me bananas by the time we got to the finale. Just wow. And then the ending. The ending. The ending does not work well. It doesn't mesh for what the film was trying to do, for what the film was trying to express its messages with humanity. Chappie is not a bad movie, you guys. It's just a huge waste of potential. It is one of the most disappointing movies of 2015. And Chappie, I love you. You're a great character, but I'm gonna have to give your movie two out of four stars. It's just a huge mixed bag for me. 
So everyone, in the comments down below, let me know which side are you on with the movie chat because there's a lot of dividing opinions going on with this movie. Also, you guys, I like to bring up a couple of things. I've actually been in two award shows of a couple of awesome YouTubers. The first award show I like to mention is Adams, the movie voting competition winners of 2014. I got to present his four categories, best action, best horror, best comedy, and best original score. And then I got to be a presenter for Caleb's The Film Fanatic Awards 2015 and I got to present Best Animated Feature and I also did get to be on Mark Crotchick's channel to spoil and discuss Chappie. This is 22 Tiger Dude and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power! From Los Angeles, California! <coughs> Not really. It's the Film Fanatics Tiger Dude, and I am very honored that I am going to be presenting four categories. <laughs> that is awesome, and yes, tonight's uh, main topic is going to be Chappie.